What's going on guys, it's Diver and today we're taking a look at how to win more gunfights in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now the first tip is to improve your accuracy. Now you can do this with two ways. You can use weapon variants, which I'm going to go over some good weapon perks to use, and attachments, which I will do a quick list and rundown of what attachments to use. Starting off with the weapon variants. We have some weapon variants that are common to a lot of weapons. First one up is going to be on point. On point reduces the aim down sight time. This is very beneficial, especially if you're using the Volk, which does have a very slow ADS time, and it does stack with quick draw. Next is stability, which is reduced recoil overall. Does it stacks with foregrip? It does. Steady, which has reduced hip spread, it does stack with the laser sight. And finally, a focus, which is reduced sway. Now here's some weapon perks that are exclusive to certain weapons. Finding the Wreck Epic variant, also known as the Wrecked, we have Breakpoint. This is reduced recoil with an automatic fire rate. This is an amazing weapon trait because the Wrecked is a killer, it's a monster. One of the first things I bought my salvage and spent it on. Next we have Rushdown, which is found on the Karma 45 Phobos variant, which you unlock from reaching level 50 in the Orion Initiative mission team. This has Rushdown, like I said, and this has reduced spread while jumping and sliding. This is very beneficial for those people that love to wall run, jump shot, and sliding, and especially if you're using the FTL power slide, this is gonna be so nice for you guys to use. Next, I'm gonna go over some attachments. Now, I'm gonna go over a quick list of them because most of them are self-explanatory, except for one which I will go over and explain why I put it on here. So the attachments I recommend are quick jaw, grip, stock, laser sight, and the one that I'm kind of on the fence about is Suppressor. Yes, Suppressor does reduce your damage range, however, in this game it does increase accuracy, and I feel like if you put it on the NV4, I find myself winning more gunfights, and I'm not sure why, but you can play around with that yourself. And of course, a red dot or an ELO sight is very beneficial for your accuracy. Next tip I have is to aim down sights around corners. If you know me, if you've been this channel for a while, you're going to know that I say aim down sights around corners all the time. You're going to be ahead of your opponent, you're going to be ready, aim down sights, and you're going to be on them with your sight, and they're just not going to be ready. They're going to be running around the corner, or they're going to be pulling up their weapon, and you already have three to four shots in them, they're dead, you win that gunfight. Now, next thing I would recommend is go to a private match with, uh, you know, some set up some bots, and practice jump shotting and drop shotting. Now, I do recommend trying Bumper Jumper Tactical, that is the layout I use. It's a bit uncomfortable to use, but if you do have a scuff, you have the paddles in the back, you have an Elite Controller, the paddles in the back, and it's just very beneficial to go into a private match with bots, put them on Recruit, then bump it up more to Veteran, and eventually you'll get the hang of it, and it's going to be very beneficial when you go into a public match, because Veteran bots are a lot better than your average player. Now the last tip I have is actually to check out my reaction time video I just made as my most recent video. I will link it in the video. I'll probably put a thumbnail and you know a little annotation. Click on that or it's the first link in the description down below. So I hope these tips really help for you and if they do make sure to leave a comment and tell me if you know these tips helped you out. So I love seeing feedback and I love knowing if it helped you out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. Remember to go check out the channel. If you like the content, click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. But above all else, have a nice day. Peace.